Hi everyone, today's video is going to be um, another lip swatching video. We are making progress. Gotten rid of over 10 lip products so far, so that's pretty good. You know, we're just we're just going through the collection. Y'all hear that? I'm sure you do. Hello, Tanga. Hello. So if you look, I don't know if you can, yeah, behind me, you can kind of see. Um, this room is the office. It's where I have my makeup, obviously, and film uh, if I need my collection. I try. To, I like to film in the living room, but like if I want access to my collection, I film in here. Um, but this is also where I am wrapping presents. So like if you look down here, we've got present wrapping stuff everywhere. So the dogs are just having the most fun with that. This look, I'm really a fan of it. I use the Urban Decay Electric Palette and the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. Really like it. I, uh, I put it on and then I decided it was looked very like Hades-esque. So I, I went with it a little bit. I don't have a lot of like Hades clothes, but you know, that's kind of what I was feeling. But anyway, let's go ahead and start swatching some lip products. All right, the first thing I've picked up, this is a Tarte Tardis lip paint in the shade Get It. It's a little mini guy or gal you know whatever oh you know what I need I need my uh, a mirror I feel like it's kind of annoying probably if I just continually use my camera finder like view thing this is very worn time hmm. that is like an orangey nude It's pretty opaque. Yeah. I can't decide if I think it's too light. No, I like it. I like it pretty good, so we'll keep that. Um, if you're newer to this idea that I have, this is one of the first videos of this you've watched. Um. Oh, you know what I did? I did it again. I started with a liquid lipstick. How dumb. How dumb. I'm just like picking up randomly out of my collection. Um, that's another liquid lipstick. Okay. But the may this is like the first sweep of my collection. I have over 200 lip products, and that's way too many, and I don't like it, and it doesn't make me happy. So this is like our first sweep. We're gonna just see if we like the colors. And then I'll do like a more in-depth declutter at some point, I'm sure. But right now I'm just trying to be like, hey, do I even like this color? Also, has this gone bad? Okay, so now this is a CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Eternal. I remember really liking this color. All right, no grossness. We had a furry lipstick yesterday, or last time I did this. Yeah, this is like a really pretty pinky red. I love a statement lip and I highly shouldn't because I also love a statement eye but, you know like a lot of people I wouldn't wear this lipstick with this eye look but a lot of people would wear like a nude with this eye look I would wear a purple I think that's really pretty we're gonna keep that that's going in the keep pile and don't worry because after I do these 10 swatches. I don't wear anything on my lips but chapstick for the rest of the day. So if you're like, oh, I got an email. Mm. Oh, okay, something important. I always feel like it could be like something from my university, especially because right now with COVID going up, I keep wondering like if they're gonna be like, hey, why don't you not come back? Which I don't want, I do not want. They might send the students home, but I, I need to stay because I gotta get my stuff done. This is a Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. I feel like this was really popular like five-ish years ago, maybe even longer than that. And I finally got one as like a sample. And yeah, you can tell it's never even been swatched. It's good. Good job, Becky. Really great. Has not gone bad. I don't smell anything. All right. Okay, so this is just not got a lot of pigment at all now also if you're new i don't like to layer my lip products i 
Do you can still see that pink coming through? I don't like this. Mm -mm. That's a no from me, dog. One down. All right. I just like to be able to like put something on. That's what I'm gonna wear for the day. Not have to do like 10 different things. So this is an Ulta Beauty Butter Balm Lip Gloss in the shade Luna. Kang is walking over the wrapping paper again. Hey, can you like just be slightly less disruptive? Just and close the, I accidentally closed that door. That's where the dog's cage is. They, they stay in the same cage they like to. Um, and I think they're afraid of it now. Well, Hippo is, Hippo's afraid of everything. All right, this doesn't look like it's separated. You don't know about that smell. All right, it's pretty opaque for a lip gloss, which I like. And I usually do use a lip liner with any lip products. So I guess if you want to say like I lay it in that way, I do. But I want a lip gloss. Ooh. That's so slippery. That can like stand alone. I kind of like where that feels. All right. So Kanga's sitting on the lipsticks now. All right, great. Kanga. She's just being disruptive. I don't know how I like the color. I don't know. I think I could use that, yeah. I'll keep that. You know? I don't wanna declutter stuff from the Norgata. And so like I said, this is just like the first sweep. There will be multiple sweeps. All right, oh my gosh. This is so old. This is a cover girl. I don't even remember what this is called. Do y'all remember these things? They had these and it came with a clear balm. I threw that in that clear balm because I hated it. Oh, it still smells the same. It still smells the exact same. All right. Let's see. It's just like a, a Molly nude. I definitely bought this in that time when I just bought anything I could see on sale. And that's how I ended up with 200 lip products, over 200. And I don't like lip products that much. I mean, I do, but it's, to me, it's not like eyeshadows where I can like justify having slightly different colors. And I know other people completely feel that way. Oh. Can you all see how that sticks? That's not pleasant. Is it sticking less? No. All right. I don't like that. We're done with that. That might dry down eventually, but like, I don't need to wait like five minutes to not hate my lipstick. You know? So, we're done with that. I don't need that in my life. All right. Five down. Keeping three, getting rid of two. This is a favorite, but it's so old, so we'll see. It looks like it's losing its color, but it's not. This is um, a Milani 3D Glitzy Gloss. I've had two others, but I think I got rid of both of them. I know I got rid of one. I don't know what shade this is in. These smell like watermelon. Still does. And it's just like a beautiful a metallic red lip gloss and if you fall if you watched my wedding day video am I practicing my wedding makeup video uh, this is the color I'm planning on wearing not this one because I want a liquid lipstick I got like this shade of color I like that we're keeping it Alright. I know people hate metallic lips. I don't. You know, I just do what I like to do. Some people might think that a bright blue with glitter eyeshadow look is a little much for just a casual Friday. But I don't. Is this a liquid lipstick? It is. We're gonna just hold off on that. Okay. 
This is a Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Greystone. I got this for free too. A lot of these things you see I got for free. And so I just kept them. So it's like a, a brownie gray. Oh yeah. It's like that stone, dose of color stone shade similar that was like very big for a while. Feel as though I look a little bit like I just died. Or maybe I just rose from the dead. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little like that. I don't know that that's a bad thing. That's not me. That's pretty, but that's not me. So I'm gonna have to say no. I like it. That's not a shade for that I would use. I really don't think it is. I like a bright look. I like bright makeup in general. Alright. That's pretty though. I just, mm -mm. That's not for me. Okay. Seven down. Ooh. NARS lip gloss in lip gloss in orgasm I kept Priscilla that's the other NARS lip gloss I own oh I've apparently taken the stopper out of this one who knew this is definitely something I featured in a project pan at one point and the issue is I featured things in a project pan that I don't like I just want to use everything I own and I'm over that now and that's good you know to me that shows some growth I don't know, other people might not think so, but that's fine. That just doesn't do anything. I, I don't want that. Don't like it. That's a no. All right. I did keep another brown lipstick last time, the Trey Chic by Lorac Beauty. The Beauty and the Beast one, it's just that, that gray stone's a little too light, I guess. I don't know. All right, I'm trying not to do, okay, here, let's do this one. This one's old. Maybelline Color Whisper in the shade Cherry on Top. I thought this was like the best thing ever. I say that, but like, I have boxes sitting right here and Kanga is getting under all of the boxes. Literally, I think her goal for the day is how disruptive can I be? So I used to, I loved this, but look how much of that I used. None. That was the problem. I loved things and then I would buy 10 more things instead of like enjoying what I had. We're getting better about that though. I think I'm a lot better about that. I like that. And I like the way it feels. All right, there we go. One more. So this one can be a liquid lipstick. Now, I'm going to do this liquid lipstick, and I just want to tell y'all, I think this makes sense. And I don't think it'll surprise you, but, you know. Um, so this liquid lipstick was sent to me by a subscriber, Sarah. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and it's a Disney designer collection, and I think this packaging is so stunning. It's in the shade Prince Charming. It came in the Cinderella bundle with this highlighter, and I love this highlighter. Now, I haven't tried this lipstick, so I'm not saying this, but just in general, I feel so, so grateful whenever anybody sends me stuff. Even whether it's PR, especially if it's one of y'all. I love that, and I really appreciate it. And it means so much to me. But I'm not a very sentimental with stuff person. That's just not how I am. So if I decide I don't like something, even if it was sent to me, I will still declutter it. Um, I'm not saying I'm gonna declutter this, I'm just saying in general. So if that really upsets you, then I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. I don't wanna keep, like, I don't wanna keep things around, like just to let them sit here and go bad, just because someone sent it to me, you know? So I'm just telling you, that's my feelings about it. Um, but I know some people hate that, so I'm just letting, just trying to be honest. So this is the Lux, Lux Liquid Lipstick. Hmm. Oh, I like that color. It's like a pinky nude. 
It's very similar to my natural color, but just a little pinkier. And just a slightly brighter. I like that color. Yeah, okay. So, there we go. That's 10 lip products down. So, we're getting rid of NARS liquid lip gloss in, not liquid, NARS lip gloss in uh, Orgasm, Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey, Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Greystone, and this CoverGirl thing, I don't even know the shade. So, four down. We're keeping six. We're keeping this uh, Milani 3D Glitzy Gloss, this Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Get It, Maybelline Color Whisper in the shade Cherry on Top, ColourPop Disney Luxe Liquid Lip in the shade Prince Charming, which I'm really glad I like this because I want to keep it, but you know, I don't want to keep it if I don't like it. Um, what is this? Oh, the CoverGirl Lipstick in the shade Eternal, and this Ulta Butter Balm Lip Gloss in the shade Luna. So we're keeping six, getting rid of four. That's definitely progress by my book. Um, four more lip products out of my collection. Um, if you watched my my like makeup collection video of like how I'm organizing it right now, my goal is to let, like right now, so my lip products are stored in old birch boxes, but you see how there's like multiple layers of it? I want there to be one layer flat across the bottom. So that's my end goal for my lip products. I don't know if I'm going to get there through this Passover, but that's the goal. So... There we go. I'll definitely be closer. Getting these four out is definitely helpful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments, go ahead and leave those down below, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.